double-barreled shotguns have been a staple of hunters and shotgunners worldwide since the 18th century. Their mechanical simplicity contributes to their reputation as robust and dependable firearms. But now, more than ever, shotgun manufacturers are building moderately priced over-under shotguns that perform and last, opening the platform to a wider range of shooters. Hi everyone, and welcome back to Survival Gear. In today's video, we are going to take a look at some of the best over-under shotguns ever designed. Whether you're looking to shoot clays, hunt birds, or simply want a reliable shotgun for all-around use, we have you covered. Franchi Instinct L If you're looking for a premium Italian-made over-under, then Franchi's Instinct L is the natural choice. The steel receiver is color case hardened, and the A-grade Turkish walnut stock comes with a semi-gloss finish, Prince of Wales grip, and trim forearm that fills the hand. Fit and finish are excellent for a gun in this price range, and auto ejectors, chrome-lined barrels, three choke tubes, and a red fiber optic front sight all come standard. These guns, which are available in 12 or 20 gauge, cost a bit more than their rivals, but there's no doubt about build quality and durability of these firearms. Female shooters should also consider the 20-gauge Franke Instinct Catalyst, which offers a stock that is engineered to fit the female form. CZ Redhead Premier The Redhead Premier from CZ is an excellent value for an over-under shotgun. For just over a grand, this gun offers a one-piece CNC machined receiver with a silver satin chrome finish and stylish engraving, auto ejectors, and a well-designed, stylish Turkish walnut stock. Available in 12, 16, and 20 gauge, the Redhead Premier offers everything you need from an upland gun, as well as some extra touches, like five interchangeable chokes, a solid midrib, and white bead front sight. Weights range from six and three quarter pounds to eight pounds, which is heavier than some competing models. But unlike some of those other guns, the Redhead Premier manages recoil well, and is a gun you won't mind shooting at the Sporting Clay's course. Benelli 828U The 828U represents a true breakthrough in over-under shotgun design, and Benelli hopes it will also help the company break through with a whole new group of upland and recreational sport shooters. It features a single, selective inertia trigger system with a tang-mounted barrel selector safety button. A plain top lever lies just ahead of the safety along the left side. Even though it is an over-under, it's also a Benelli, which means this shotgun is packed full of technological innovations. The patented steel locking system comprises an all-steel breech block intended to contain the pressure generated by fired cartridges. This unique design addresses a common failure point in traditional over-under shotguns, increasing the gun's lifespan. The stock also features the Benelli Progressive Comfort System, an innovative recoil absorption system intended to be more efficient and comfortable than a traditional stock fitted with a recoil pad. This technology uses internal polymer buffers designed to compress and absorb compressed energy. Current offerings are in 12-gauge with 3-inch chambers and 26-inch or 28-inch barrels. Two versions are available one with a black anodized receiver, and one with a silver tone receiver said to be the result of a nickel-based treatment. Savage Stevens 555 The Stevens 555 is a no-frills stack barrel that comes with an aluminum receiver with steel inserts for added durability and carbon steel barrels with five screwing choke tubes included. The black finish on the metalwork is austere but functional and the Turkish walnut stock features a schnabel forend with checkering for better grip. Extractors come standard, as do a tang-mounted safety and barrel selector. If you prefer a bit more ornamentation than the standard 555 offers, you can upgrade to the 555 Enhanced, which offers features like a laser-engraved silver aluminum receiver, enhanced walnut, and auto ejectors. Both the 555 and 555E are available in 12, 16, 20, and 28 gauge, and 410 bore. Browning Satori Produced in mass and beloved by many, 
few over-under shotguns hold a candle to the Browning Satori and its impact. Yes, we're moving up in the price range with Browning Satori, but this over-under is a worthy consideration as the cost is relatively low compared to the quality. And so many of them have been sold that Satoris are readily available on the used market at less than retail prices. Further, these guns have performed on all the clay target stages, many of them for hundreds of thousands of rounds. So, you can rely on a Satori to hold up long term, whether it's new or used. The Satori has all the features one would expect to find on a quality over under shotgun, including selective automatic ejectors and selective single triggers. The trigger selector is built into the safety lever located on top of the tang. Barrels come with fixed chokes in the earliest models, with choke tubes becoming standard in 1988. Fit and finish are in keeping with Browning's reputation for excellent workmanship. There are many Browning Satori models and variants currently in production, and dozens more over its 46-year run. It has been chambered in 12, 20, and 28 gauge and 410 bore, including occasional listings for 16 gauge. Blazer F-16 You might think F-16 refers to a fighter jet, but it simply refers to Blazer's over-under shotgun. But at just north of $5,000, it's not making a big splash in the U.S. market, which is a shame. With a very low-profile receiver and great balance, the F-16 is a delight to carry and shoot. My test gun has 30-inch barrels and weighs a little over 7 pounds, yet it feels lighter to carry, and it has just the right amount of weight up front to make it point and swing surely. It's a lively gun, too, and it swings well on crossers and points well on straightaways and quartering birds. People more sensitive to triggers than I will notice right away that the pull of the mechanical trigger is excellent. And because it's German, the F-16 has unique, over-engineered ejectors that are never cocked until the gun fires, saving stress on the springs. Sometime later this year, you'll be able to buy a 20-gauge version of the F-16, or of 20-gauge barrels fitted to your 12. Ruger Red Label Originally developed in the 1970s, Ruger brought the Red Label to market as a 20-gauge first before building a 12. Ruger shelved the Red Label for a tiny bit in 2011 due to a complicated two-part receiver, which caused overly expensive production costs. The new version was built with a single-piece receiver and debuted in 2014, but it never really took off, which is odd, because the tweaks dropped the price of the gun by an unbelievable $500. The second-generation Red Label has no side rips, which cuts the weight of the gun to under 8 pounds. Since Ruger took some of the weight out of the old model, the forcing cones were lengthened by 2 inches and the stock pad was upgraded to dampen recoil. The 12-gauge red label has 28-inch barrels and the receiver is stainless, though the initial offerings had a blued receiver. One of the shortcomings of this gun is that the wood-to-metal finish is not always flush. That's fairly common in less expensive double guns. If it really bothers you, have a gunsmith refinish the stock.